Good afternoon, everyone, and we are live once again for another Wednesday Westside Wellbeing. I hope you are doing well. Welcome to join me today on this Wednesday session. So, oh, the camera's coming up. I do apologise about that. Let me just get that into perspective for you. There we go. Lovely stuff. So today we are rounding to surface. We're going to do a variety of exercises, working our way through the whole body. Making sure we're in a nice, strong workout in this lunch time. We're going to do 30 seconds on and 30 seconds off today. So we'll work our way through three sets of one exercise and we'll move on to another exercise, making sure we have 30 seconds in between each exercise. What we'll do for the first few rounds in this 30 seconds rest period, we'll do a little bit of stretching, a little bit of warming up along to supplement through those first exercises that we're going to be doing. So if anyone has any questions throughout, feel free to pop them into the comment box. But let's get started. So we're going to do 30 seconds on. First exercise we're going to go into, get that heart rate going. We're going to do some squat around the world. So we're going to bring the arms behind the legs, come up and drive up, turn around. So let's set ourselves. Oh, that's loud. And in three, two, and one. And let's go to so a down, nice wide right stance, bring those arms up. Around and pull up that head. Again, start to increase that heart rate. Oh, I do apologize for the stop there. I don't know why that stops. Let me reset that. That is not what we want. Got a little moment there before you take a moment. Rest for me. Let me get this set up. Apologies. Time has changed his mind as we got started. There we go. Let's set ourselves again. And in three, two, and one. Let's hands from behind and we can work our way up and round. Good. Great way to start that blood circulation. Wake up that central nervous system from the side of the desk all morning. Just start to get that movement through those legs, through that upper body. Again, find a rhythm, find a tempo that works for you. Lovely control, everyone. Keep that there. Moving towards the end of this first set. And in three, two, and one. Rest, take a moment from there. We're just going to stretch into the hips and the adductors as they run down the inside of the legs. So, nice wide stance. We're just going to lean to one side. Just so you can feel that pull through the inside of that leg. Lovely stuff. Hold that there. We're going to switch it back over as we move towards the timer. Let's set ourselves into the second round of Around the World. In three, and two, and one. Again, nice more stance. Again, find a rhythm, find a tempo that works for you. Think about driving those hips back. Again, nice rotation through those arms. All the way around. Good. And disappear off the screen at the top. Good. Control everyone. Nice. Lovely stuff. Moving towards the end of that second set. And in three, two, and one. And rest, take a moment. So, from there, what we're going to do is we're just going to get into the hamstring slide. So, what we're going to do, take a nice wide stance. We're just going to lean ourselves forwards, hinging at those hips. We're going to stretch out through those hamstrings. Hold it there for a few seconds. And we'll bring it up, get set, and ready for our third round of Around the World. In three, and two, and one. Let's go. Again, find that rhythm. Find that tempo that works for you. Good. Love this time, everyone. Nice. Keep that going. Strong work. Shim. And around. Nice. Coming up towards 10 seconds. Keep that there. Nice. Feel that burn in. Those shoulders in. That's next. And in three, two, and one. And rest. Nice, that's exercise one done. You can take a moment, feel free to take a little bit of water on board if you need to. Lovely stuff, it nice. Good, so from there we're going to move into some leg exercises. So, we're going to go into some alternate lunges here. And what we'll do is we'll go for the right leg forward first. We're going to do take that right leg forward, bring it down, pop it back up. And switch into that other leg. 
Again, working on that balance, working on that form and technique. Let's set the trusted timer. And in three, two, and one, let's go. So we're just finding that range. Again, trying to pull that belly button in as you come out of the base of that lunge. Working all the way through. If your knee comes down to the ground, no problem at all. If you try and keep it hovering just above that ground, fantastic stuff. But if it does happen to come down and touch that floor, don't worry too much. Good, let's keep that going. And in three, two, and one. Press from there, we're going to just stretch into one of the quadriceps. We're going to go for the right leg first here. Feel free to test your balance. If you wish to, feel free to use a wall or a chair or any object you have around you, maybe with a human being. Good, now we're going to switch over to the left. Nice and control, keeping that balance. Three seconds, we're going to move into those lunges. We did this way this time. Let's go for it. Working down through those legs. We work in those quads. Stretching out through those hamstrings as we bounce back up. Again, find a rhythm, find a tempo that works for you. As you come out of the base of this lunge, think about pulling that belly button in tight. You're engaging the base of that core. Start to take the pressure off that lower back. A few more repetitions. Let's keep it going. And in three, two, and one. And rest. Take a moment. So from there, we're just going to get some hip rotations as we start to warm up into today's session. Nice rotation all the way around. Good. Lovely stuff, everyone. Nice 10 seconds. So let's set ourselves, we're going to jump back into our third round of lunges, alternate lunges. So let's go for it, here we go. And we're down. And up. Again, find that rhythm, find that tempo that works for you. Try to keep that knee just off the ground if you can. Nice, good control everyone. Let's keep it there. Coming into 10 seconds, pulling that belly button in the base of that lunge. And three, two, and one, and rest. Nice, don't work everyone. We'll take a moment there. I'm going to move back a little bit so you get a little bit more light on me. There we go. Lovely stuff. So, what we're going to move into next, we're going to go into everyone's favourites. We're going to go into the bear crawl. So that is where we're standing up, right? We're going to come down and work our way up through our hands. Get the press up at the end if we can, and bring it back up. This one's really good for that whole body. Really starting to engage that upper body and working through that full rep range, reducing that stress. Now it's time to work out. And in three, two, and one. Let's go to the down. We're going to walk it out. We're going to get that press. And walk it back in again, find a rhythm, find a tempo that works for you. Nice, taking it all the way out. Lovely, so everyone go, keep it going. Try and work, utilize that hand strength. Guide yourself all the way through. Out, up, and back in. Nice, good. And in three, two, and one. Take a moment this time, we're just going to take 30 seconds rest. Utilizing a lot of energy here through the body. This time we're going to come at it from this side. Nice big inhale. Nice big exhale. Focusing on that breath. We've got 10 seconds to go. We're just going to take a moment. Five seconds. Let's set ourselves for round two, three, two, and one. So we're down. We're going to take it out again in that breath. At the end, and walking it back up. Lovely stuff, everyone. Really utilizing that upper body strength again. Here, if you're struggling to do the press, just walk it out and walk it back in. 10 seconds to go. A few more repetitions. Strong work. Nice. And we walk it in and we're taking it back out for three, two, and one. And rest. Good. Take a moment. 
Boom. Woo. Really getting swell. In this Wednesday lunch time workout. Nice and warm in here. 15 seconds. Catch your breath. Nice big inhale. And exhale. Nice. We're going into our third round of bear crawls. So we're going to set ourselves and in three, two, and one, and we're down. We're taking it out, squeezing through. Now just getting that full range, working through that whole body. Nice, keep it going again. If anyone, if that push up becomes tricky, just take it out, hold it there for a second, and walk it back in, move towards those last 10 seconds. Strong work, everyone. Good, nice. Five, and in three, two, and one, and rest. Take a moment, take a little bit of water on board. So from there, what we are gonna move into, we're gonna bring it down to the knees, and from there we're just gonna do a curl, and press, imagine we're on a nice heavy set of dumbbells, keeping those fists as clenched as nice and tight. Let's set ourselves, let's go for it. Here we go. Take a few more moments. And in three, two, and one. Nice press, we just curl up through those biceps and get that full rotation through those shoulders. Again, keeping that core nice and locked in. Here, I'll make sure you keep nice clenched fists. Really working those arms up through those shoulders, engaging all those ligaments and tendons by squeezing those fists really tight, like we're holding a massive dumbbell. And three, two, and one, and a rest here. By all means, feel free to sit back on the heels, take a moment. We've got 30 seconds. Lovely, so we're on nice, we're flying through today's session. Let's keep that going, let's keep that intensity. Nice big inhale, nice big exhale. And here, we've still got 10 seconds, so just take a moment. Focus back in what we're about to move into. Think about those muscle groups that we're going to be using. And we're going to set ourselves up onto those knees in three, two, and one. Clenching those fists nice and tight. Driving up overhead, getting yeah, up. All curl and contraction into that bicep, keeping that core nice and tight, nice and locked in. If that causes you any discomfort, I just want you to think about starting by pulling that belly button in. Again, that really engages the base of our core. Working into that lower back. Good, strong work, everyone. Let's get that there. Foot three, foot two, and one. Nice. We're going to take a moment again. Feel free to sit back on the heels. Take a moment, take that oxygen on board. Again, starting to think about those muscle groups that we're going to be working, having a little rest with those legs. We've got 15 seconds still. Nice big inhale. Nice big exhale. Good. Here we go, moving to five seconds. Let's reset ourselves. And in three, two, and one. Let's go. So we curl and press. Nice. Really good control, everyone. Nice full contraction through those biceps. Stretching up through those shoulders. Nice and control. Again, engaging that core, keeping that nice and tight. Lovely stuff, everyone. Good. Let's keep that going. Strong work. Nice. Moving towards that time. Last few repetitions. And rest. Nice. Good work, everyone. So from there, what we're going to do is we're going to move back into the lower body again. So this time we're just going to move into some squats and take a moment, we've got a little bit of time. It's absolutely no rush and we're just going to go into some body squats. Let's take a small sip of water myself, feel free to do the same. Lovely stuff, everyone. Nice. So let's set ourselves, really working back into that lower body today, into those squats. So in three, two, and one. Nice wide stance. Bring those hands into that centre line and just start to work your way through that rep range. 
Love yourself, everyone. Good. Nice and controlled. Find a rhythm. Find a tempo that works for you. Good. Love yourself. Coming down, driving those hips through at the top end of that movement. Moving towards the last few seconds. And rest. Love yourself, everyone. Again, we'll take 30 seconds just to catch your breath. Take a moment. We've got a lot to fit in today, but we are flying through at the moment. Really good control, everyone. Nice, take a moment. Moving towards 10 seconds, no rush. Again, start thinking about those muscles that you're going to be engaging through that lower half of the body, through those legs, and through those glutes. Let's start, start in three, two, and one. Nice, good, taking it down. Taking as much depth as you can, find in that range. Lovely stuff, everyone. Again, focusing on that form and technique, keeping that back nice and straight, making sure all that movement is coming through those legs. Good, really good control. Let's keep that there. Strong in three, two, and one. Nice, one more set to go. One more set to go. Strong effort, everyone. Let's keep that left. Really push through. Nice. On this next exercise, we're moving to something a little bit lighter. Let the heart rate drop down a little bit. A little bit of recovery, a little bit of mobility. 10 seconds. Again, nice big inhale. Nice big exhale. Start to think about those muscles that we're going to be engaging through the legs. And in three, two, and one. Let's go. Nice. We're down. And find that rhythm, find the tempo that works for you. Really strong work, everyone. Nice, let's keep that going. Maybe working up some of that morning stress, increasing that heart rate, increasing that blood flow, working out all that tension. Good, let's keep it there. Move towards the last few seconds. Strong work. Nice, and in three, two, and one, and rest. Take a moment. Yeah, love is so strong work. You take a minute, and we're going to move into a bit of a mobility exercise. So, what we're going to move into when we move into is bring our arms above the head. I'm just going to get a nice rotation through that midriff, through that core. So, let's take our time. Absolutely no rush. Take a little bit of water on board if you need to. I'm going to get the old twisted timer. Good, nice. We are halfway there. Strong work, everyone. Let's keep that going. I'm going to set the time at five and in three, two, and one. See, I'm doing the corner of the head. I'm just going to get that rotation through that core. Nice. If this causes you any discomfort, all you have to do is bring those feet a little closer together. And again, so we're feeling that range through that torso. So to activate those obliques. Working out through that spine, releasing any tension that might have been accumulated. Good, let's keep that there. And five, and in three, two, and one, and rest. Nice. We will take 30 seconds again. Absolutely no rush. Take your time, take some water on board if we need to. We've still got 20 seconds to work with. So, nice big inhale. Nice big exhale, taking our time, we've still got 10 seconds to go. No rush, we're going to take the arms up above their head. We'll set ourselves five seconds and in three, two, and one. Good, nice, nice rotation through that core. Again, working through that mobility in that middle spine. Again, like you said, if it causes you any discomfort, bring those feet nice and close. If you want to take them out a little bit wider, you can also do that. No problem at all. Let's keep it there. Moving into 10 seconds. Strong work, everyone. Good. Five seconds. A few more rotations. Really working out that stress. And relax. Nice. We'll take 30 seconds here. Again, feel free to just shake those arms around a little bit. Get that foot flowing in the back, put some forwards, nice. From side to side, good. 
15 seconds still to go. Absolutely no rush. Take a little bit of oxygen on board again. Bringing that heart rate down. Ready for set three. And take those hands behind the head. We're going to set ourselves in three and two. And one. Nice. Once again, full rotation. All the way through that body. Good. Lovely stuff, everyone. Let's keep that going. Let's keep that there. Strong work, nice. Feeling that tension releasing by now. That spine should feel a lot looser, a lot freer. I think that we're getting a little bit more movement through that midriff. Again, keeping those arms above the head to really engage in those corners. Back three, two, and one. Nice, and rest. Love this stuff. We're going to take a moment there. So next, we're going to move into a full body movement. So we are going to go into some squat thrusters. Feel free to take a little bit of water on board at the same time, no problem at all. And for here, what we're going to do is squat thrusters when we start the time. We're going to turn the palms in again. We're going to come down. We're going to drive up and take those arms up and overhead, getting that rotation through that shoulder joint. We're really working the whole body here. So let's set ourselves. Five seconds. And in three, two, and one. Nice wide stance. You're down and drive it up overhead. Finding that full range of movement through that body. You're really extending up through those shoulders. Open up that torso. Stretching out through those obliques that run down the side of our torso. Nice, again, find a rhythm, find a tempo that works for you. Really strong work, everyone. Nice, moving towards the last few seconds. Few more repetitions. Good, lovely stuff. Nice, and rest. Take a moment for 30 seconds. Take some air on board. Nice and relaxed. 15 seconds. Before we move into our second set of squat thrusters, we've got 10 seconds. Let's start to set us out. Think about those muscle groups we're going to be using. And in three, two, and one. Palms come in. We're down. We drive it up and overhead. Trying to keep that back nice and straight. So all those legs are doing the work. We're driving up through those arms. Good, uh, strong work everyone, let's keep it there. Nice, working our whole way up through that range. Strong, keep that going. A few more repetitions. And rest, nice, take a moment. Really good work everyone. Really strong effort, really working our way through it today. Putting a lot of big movements in there. Building up. A little bit of a loose time sweat. Oh, if you join us later on, building up a evening sweat, morning sweat, mid morning sweat, mid afternoon sweat. I think we've covered everything there. Middle of the night sweat. Whenever you feel free to join in. So let's go for the last set. And we're down, driving it up. Keeping that back nice and straight. Clenching those fists nice and tight. So really working through those shoulders. Nice, good work everyone, let's keep that there. Strong work. We're moving to the final 10 seconds. A few more repetitions. And in three, two, and one. And rest. Nice, take a moment everyone. Feel free to take a little bit of water on board if you need to. So from there, we're going to bring it back down to the ground and we're going to go into some push ups here. So, a few options here. We can either do the classic push up where you're in that plank position, arms out wide, driving through. If you need to, feel free to bring it onto the knees. If you do bring it onto the knees, what I do is make sure that you're nice and long line so the knees are back as far as they can be. So our bum is nice and flat, our glutes aren't pointing up in the air. And then again, if you need to drop to those toes, feel free to do so. I'll give us a demonstration of all three as we work through it. So let's set ourselves. So 
go for the classic push up into that plank position, just squeeze it through that chest. If anyone needs to bring it to the knees, bring it to the knees, but making sure again that body is nice and long. We drop those hips, so our glutes are nice and aligned with the knees, with the shoulders, and if you need to drop the toes to the floor as well, feel free to do so. You can just keep on those knees or in that full push up position. We are winning. Nice. And rest in a moment. You're going to work, everyone. We're going to go into the second round of here. Again, focus back in on that breathing. Take your time. No rush. We've still got over 15 seconds to go. It's John work, everyone. Love your stuff. Really moving through the workout today. So here we go. Let's set ourselves, get ourselves in position. And in three, two, and one. Let's go for it. Really working through that chest. Taking it as low as we can. If you've got a hat on like me, turn that hat around just so you get a little bit deeper into that press up. And again, if you need to bring it to the knees, no problem at all. Again, making sure that body is nice and long. You're squeezing through that chest, through those arms. And rest, take a moment. This one takes a lot of energy, a lot of strength. Strong work, everyone. Really good effort. We've got one more round to go of the push ups. Then we're going to move on to something a little bit more mobility rate related. Just to loosen up those hips after a busy morning. So let's set ourselves. Final round. Five seconds. Let's set ourselves in position. Again, we need to start on the knees. Bring those toes to the floor, feel free to do so. But again, if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, feel free to lift those toes off the floor, so we're onto those knees. And again, if you want to take it a step further, come up onto those tiptoes, just to drive them through that chest. Squeeze it out just for a few repetitions, then you need to bring it back to the knees. Feel free to do so. And rest. Strong work, everyone. Nice. I'm going to take a little bit of water on board here. Nice. Strong work, everyone. Lovely stuff. I've had a wonderful morning, thank you. It's been good. So, in here, we're going to move on to a little bit more mobility here, allow that heart rate to come down just so we can work off some of that fatigue and stress that we get from sitting down at those desks each day. So the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to drop the knee from side to side. So we're starting to work through those obliques, start to open up those hips on the inside. I'll give you guys a few more moments. Catch your breath. And we're moving towards the back end of the session. We've got a good 15 minutes left to go. Maybe a little bit more, to be honest. But let's set ourselves. So we're just going to go to that mobility side to side, working through those adductors, opening up those hip flexors. Again, find a rhythm, find a tempo that works for you. If you feel like you've gone a little bit too wide on that stance, don't worry, bring it a little bit closer and just start to drop. From side to side, working through those hips. Nice, good work, everyone. And again, because this, we're going to do three rounds, we're really working through those hips. But because of the three rounds and the extensive amount of reps we're doing, we really start to work on those adductor muscles, running down the inside of our legs. Tell you what, you've got me out of breath today, it's unusual. Good, let's keep it there, take a moment. 15 seconds. Nice big inhale. Nice big exhale. Taking our time. So let's set ourselves round two and three, two and one. And we're just dropping from side to side, working through that hip flexor. Again, really activating those adductors. Again, starting to get into the glutes as well from there as we roll from side to side. You'll be able to feel your glutes start to be engaged. You 
and really stretching out. Really those muscles that can sit quite dormant when we sat down. Don't get as much blood circulation as they need. And in three, two, and one. And rest. Nice, we'll take 30 seconds again. I'm going to take a little bit of water on board. 20 seconds, no rush. Fifteen seconds. Let's start to think about that movement, connecting back in with that body. Let's get that nice wide stance. We'll set ourselves five and in three, two, and one. Let's go. That's things working side to side. Really strong, everyone. Again, that and that heart rate to just come down and touch, making sure that blood flow is still nice and high and we're still getting that movement. So we're limbering up through those hips. Again, activating through those glutes, through those adductor muscles. Open up those hip flexors. And rest. Good work, everybody. Nice. We are flying through it. So, again, we're going to move on to another exercise, a little bit of mobility, flexibility. We're also starting to incorporate that balance and working on that balance. See how we can go around to maintaining and building that balance that we already have. So from there, I'll give you a small demonstration. So we're going to do three rounds on each leg. So we will start on that left leg. And all I'm going to do from here, the right leg is going to come back. Right arm's going to go down. So we're going to start to bring it down, touch that floor. If you can, I'm just come forward and drive that knee up. Take it back, touch that floor, and drive that knee up. We're going to feel this one. We're going to do three rounds on each side. So we'll set ourselves five, and in three, two, and one. And we're off, allowing that leg to come back. I just need to change my stance to touch here again. Feel free to move that foot if it doesn't quite feel right. Taking it down, driving that knee up to the top. Again, driving that knee through just to help you find that balance. And again, find that range of movement through that hip at the same time. Working through that hip flexor, stretching out through that hamstring and glute. Really working that standing leg. And rest. Nice. So from there, we're going to switch on to the opposite leg. So we're going to go right leg standing. Plenty of time. Obviously. You know what, today I want to test this, let's really try it. So for the first three rounds, I'm going to do them all on that left leg, and then the next three will move on to that right leg, really getting that fatigue in through that leg, that left leg to start with, moving on to the right, and you'll be going to bring it down, driving that knee up and through, so stretching through that glute and hamstring, driving in through that quad and hip flexor. Go, really working on that balance on that standing leg. Start to feel those muscles to fatigue, taking all the weight of our body while under motion. Go, moving towards the last few seconds. And rest. Nice. Good work. I want two rounds, one more round to go. Standing on that left leg, and then we'll switch it into that standing on that right leg. Really strong effort, everyone. Let's keep that going. 10 minutes or so to go. Take a nice big inhale. Nice big exhale. Let's set ourselves for round three. And in. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Nice and finding that balance. Working it all the way through. Remember to bring that knee through. And up again, helps you maintain that balance. Just means we're working on that body a little bit more. Trying to focus on where our eye line is. Help us keep that balance strong. Whoa, and even I lost myself and then to focus on that balance. And three, two, and one. And rest, strong work, everyone. Nice, we'll take a moment. About 30 seconds or so, then we'll move on to that opposite leg. So we'll go standing on that right leg, bringing that left leg backwards and driving that knee through. 
So, if you need to take a bit of water on board, feel free to do so. After that last movement, again, that right leg, left leg side should be ready, fire your glutes, should be on fire, you should be feeling it, feel those quads. And now we're going to move um, to the opposite side, so that right leg's going to come up standing, but you're going to hinge forward the hips, drive that leg through. Again, find that balance. It take you a few repetitions to find it. Really working through that full rep range. Good, lovely, so everyone nice, keeping it there. As you can see, my balance is pretty good. But even for me, after we've gone through a lot of exercises, you start to feel it. And rest, nice, take a moment, two more rounds. The legs are going to be firing. Really strong effort, everyone. Let's keep it there. Focusing on that breath. Nice big inhales, nice big exhales. Again, feel free to move around the space a little bit just so we don't get too much fatigue setting in those legs. We've got 10 seconds. We're going to move into step two. Right leg is still that standing leg. Let's set ourselves in three, in two, and one. Nice. We're going to hinge back. Drive back. Really strong work, everyone. Nice, keep it there. Once you're coming out to the ground, touch that ground, driving that hip back up. As you can see, for me, my left leg definitely got more balance than my right. Really trying to work through that rep range, extending that leg as far as we can, and driving that knee. Woo! Nice. Feeling that today. Good. Let's keep it there. One more set. On that right leg, really working on that balance, that flexibility, but also building on that static strength through that standing leg. And a lot of pressure through the hips and the glutes, through the coil and hamstring. Really strong way to build up that balance. Let's set ourselves out. We're going to round three on that right leg. And in three, two, and one. Let's go. Nice. Driving that knee through at the end, trying to reach that leg nice and far behind us. I find that bad, so you lose it like I did there. Good, nice, strong work, everyone. Moving towards the back end. Last set on here. Keep it going, a few more repetitions. And rest. Nice, really strong work, everyone. That will really start to set and real feel that burn. Good. Take a little bit of water on board if you need to, no problem at all. And from there, we we'll take a few more moments, a little bit more rest as we move towards the back end of the session. And we're going to just go into another full body exercise. But we're going to go into the crab crawl this time. So instead of the bear crawl, we're going into that crab crawl. So we're on our tiptoes. Our knees are flared out, very similar to the bear crawl, but this time we're going to walk it out. We're going to throw a press up in there if we can, and we're just going to walk it back in, reset, and take it back out. So, we'll take a few moments. Let's get ready. We're going to do three rounds of this. Really strong work, everyone. Let's set ourselves. And in three, two, and one. Let's go. So, we start to walk it out. Yeah, that pressing at the end. And walk it back in. Really strong work, everyone. Drive it through again. Find that rhythm, find that tempo. I'm just going to bring myself forward a bit. Love this stuff, everyone. Nice. Keep that going. If you are, let me start to feel those legs fatiguing through those exercises we've done. Working into that upper body at the same time, getting a full body workout in, utilizing just our bodies. Nice, take a moment, feel free to bring it to the knees. Take a nice long inhale, nice long exhale. Let's set ourselves as we move into set two. And let's go, so we can walk it out. Yeah, that press at the end. If we can, 
and walk it back in, take the time, take the those arms, out, squeezing through those arms, and back up again, find that rhythm, find that tempo that works for you. Good, strong work everyone, let's keep it there, let's finish strong. Okay, the long way, let's push your hand in three, two, and one. And rest, take a moment for me. Let's sit back on those knees. We've got through a lot today, strong work everyone. A few more exercises to go. A few more exercises to go after this one. We're going to shift into some more core focused exercises. We've put a lot of tension and stretch in the legs today. The upper body's kicked in. And let's see ourselves. Final round. Up three, two, and one. Take it out. Squeeze through that rep range. Good, nice, strong work everyone. Let's keep that going. Working through that upper body, feeling that squeeze through those legs as we come back in. Push it all the way, a few more repetitions to go. And squeeze, nice, walking it back in. Let's take it out. The last repetition. And bring it in. Nice, good work everyone. We'll take a few moments. I'm going to move into some core exercises. So from here, we're going to do some standing core exercises to start with. And we're going to go into a standing cycle crunch, trust me. So what that means is hands are going to come behind the head. And you're going to bring the opposing elbow into the opposing knee. Getting that real contraction through that midriff. Let's push it, everyone. Almost there. A few more exercises to go. Strong effort. Stay with me. Foot three, two, and one. And we're really getting nice and controlled. Keep it nice and steady. Really feeling that contraction through those core muscles, through those abdominals. Squeeze it through those obliques. Really working it through that hip flexor, stretching out that glute as we lift that knee up. Nice, strong work everyone, from almost there. A few more repetitions. And rest, nice from there. Feel free to swing the arms around because after the crab rules, and then taking our hands straight behind our head, need to make sure we're getting plenty of blood flowing back through those arms. 15 seconds. Focusing on that breath. Thinking about those muscle groups that we're going to use. And five, in, three, two, and one. Let's go nice and slow, nice and controlled. Feeling that contraction through that core. Lovely stuff, everyone. Nice. Bringing that left elbow to that right knee. Right elbow to that left knee. Good, keep squeezing, 10 seconds. Squeeze through those abdominals. Up three, two, and one. Nice, strong work everyone, one more set of those. Nice, really strong effort everyone, one more set. Then we're gonna move into one more exercise. We've got time. Lovely stuff. So, 15 seconds, we'll set ourselves. Nice big inhale, nice big exhale. Take those hands up behind the head, let's set ourselves. And in three, two, and one. Go, as we're crunching through that stomach wall. Really strong, everyone, nice. Keep that going, feel that contraction through those abdominal muscles, lifting up through those hip flexors. Squeezing that knee into that elbow as close as we can. A few more repetitions, for the last 10 seconds. Good, strong work, everyone. For three, two, and one. Nice, lovely stuff, everyone. So, from there, we're going to move straight in to our final exercise. It's really in, so for now, we can do another little lie down. We're going to come down onto the ground. We are going to place our heels 
Good, foot away from the back of our thighs, and we're gonna go into some heel touches. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep arms nice and close to that torso, and lift that chin into that chest if we can, and we're just gonna slide from side to side. Find the rhythm, find the tempo that works for you. Go really feeling that contraction through that big rib. It's just moving from side to side, squeezing through that rib cage, keeping those arms nice and tucked in. Ten seconds to go. Strong work, everyone. Nice and in. Three, two, and one. And rest by all means. Feel free to take a moment, place those arms by the side. If you want to place your legs out in front of you, feel free to do so. But take a few moments, think about that breath again. Nice big inhale, nice big exhale, and we've still got just over 10 seconds to go. So from there, let's think about bringing those feet back up, so then the soles of our feet are nice and flat, bring those arms nice and close to our side, lifting that chin into that chest, and squeezing from side to side. Really controlled. Strong effort, everyone. Nice, We're almost there. Did a lot of work in today. Got a lot of exercises in. Really strong work. Nice, moving towards 10 seconds. Squeezing through those obliques. Five, and in. Three, two, and one. And rest again. Feel free to take those arms out to the side. Take those legs nice and straight. Again, if you want to sit one leg up, one leg down, turn it to you. Just yes, you want to shake through those hamstrings and such. We'll pull it through them today. 15 seconds, lie down, take a moment, focusing on that breath. What we need to do for the legs are straight, start to bring them back up to so those soles of feet onto the floor. We'll take our arms by our side and in three, two, and one, lifting that chin into that chest. Squeeze it from side to side through those big muscles. Nice, let's keep it there. So, our last set, last round, 15 seconds to go, and we have an absolutely smash through another West Side Wild Beer Wednesday session. Keep it there, five seconds, few more repetitions, and in three, two, and one, and relax. Good work, everybody. Nice, absolutely smashed it today. We got through a lot of exercises. We got loads of movement in. Hope you enjoyed it. Got a little bit of lunchtime sweat on. Really strong work. We will be back next week with Harriet. Enjoy the rest of your week. Peace out. See you soon. Bye bye.